Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Audit video on Before After Auditing. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Apex SQL Audit to audit before and after values in the event of insert, update, and or delete operations. In addition, we'll demonstrate how to set up alerting on specific before-after events and how to create comprehensive auditing reports based on auditing of before-after values. Apex SQL Audit is a SQL Server auditing and compliance tool which allows auditing of almost 200 SQL Server events. Audited data is stored inside its own Tamper Evidence Central Repository database, which encrypts audited before-after values to ensure maximum security of the sensitive data. Apex SQL Audit also provides powerful alerting and reporting mechanisms, which allow users to be alerted on specific auditing events, as well as to create and automate reporting of various built-in or custom reports. In order to audit before-after values, Apex SQL Audit leverages database triggers, which are created directly on the audited tables. Once created, these triggers will fire on each and every insert, update, and delete events, based on the implemented configuration down to the table field level. Changes will be tracked on the exact field value before and after the operation is executed. To start the process, first, install Apex SQL Audit and start the application. Next, let's access the auditing configuration screens by clicking on the Before After button in the main ribbon. Next, let's add the SQL Server instance which hosts the database we want to audit for the Before After changes by clicking on the Add Server button and selecting the SQL Server instance from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, we can manually type the SQL Server name or click the Browse Servers button and select Local or Remote SQL Server Instance, and click Add to finish. In the Auditing Agent Properties dialog, we must provide the Windows Administrator username and password, and can also change the location where the temporary files are stored, or change the name of the central host we are connecting to, as well as connection timeout. Once everything is set, click OK. Next, click on the Add Database button. Then, check databases which will be audited for before-after changes and click on the Add button. Now, in the Add Table dialog, check tables for auditing and they will be added to the central form where we can now also see exact columns for each added table. Columns that are assigned as primary key are marked with the key icon and placed in brackets. Now, we can configure actual auditing on the column level for each operation. So, let's check Insert, Update, and Delete checkboxes on the appropriate columns and tables. Last but not least, we can achieve even greater precision by utilizing an advanced filter, which can be enabled. Here, we can combine logical conditions to specify the exact cases in which before-after auditing will be triggered. For example, we can configure our advanced filter to look only for events coming from a specific SQL Server login, which come from a specified application and client host. Once these filters are set, click on the Apply button and configuration will be saved. This process can be repeated for multiple SQL Server instances and databases. Simply add the database and configure auditing filters and advanced filters and apply once ready. With this, the auditing configuration process is finished, and before-after values on the specified tables and columns will be audited as per applied configuration. Now that we've seen how to configure auditing, let's focus on reporting. But first, let's look at a typical use case where Apex SQL Audit can be used to identify some unexpected changes in a particular table. Let's quickly observe the Sales Commission table, which includes three columns, ID, salesperson name, and commission. In its original state, here is how the table looks. We can clearly see by the original state of the table, all salespersons had the same commission of 5%. Keep in mind that we have an active auditing for before-after values on the mentioned table. So let's see what was audited by Apex SQL Audit in a case where someone changes commission values for two of our salespersons to 10%. Clicking on the Reports button in the main ribbon 
will bring up the Apex SQL Audit reporting pane. While we can use any built-in report as a starting point, for the purpose of this video, let's click on the New button and select the Before After Auditing report. Note that only Insert, Update, and Delete operations are selected, and that we are only using Before After Events as a source for the report. Additionally, we can use a variety of filters to enhance the precision of our report, starting with the server, database, login, date, time, and other filters. Once our filters are set, click on the Preview button to create a preview of our report. Immediately, we can spot that our table has been updated. Here, we can see the before value of our commission value, which was originally 5%. And here, we can see the value after the change is now 10%. It is the same for the other salesperson. If we check the available information, we will see the exact time the change was made, who made it, via which application, where did the user connect from, and more. This information can be used to determine if it was indeed an unexpected change or not, and we can take appropriate actions if necessary like reversing the change. To help with the before-after reports and allow users to more easily navigate through them, Apex SQL Audit has specific report filters which focus on the before-after auditing and allow users to filter per columns or even per exact values before and after the change. Once the report is finalized, we can save it by providing a name and clicking on the Save button as well as immediately generated in one of the supported formats by clicking on the Generate button and opting for the report file format. Alternatively, these reports can be scheduled to be run automatically on a predetermined frequency by running the Schedule Wizard in the main ribbon and setting up schedule parameters. Finally, let's see how to add alerts, which will notify us on a specific before-after auditing event. In the main ribbon, click on the Manage Alerts button. Here, we already see some existing built-in as well as custom alerts, but we want to create a new one for our case. So, click on the New button. In the first step of the alert wizard, choose the Before After Alert. In the next step, we can specify the title of the alert notification as well as choose various information which will be included, such as the database name, table name, login, and more. Once we customize the alert title and body, click Next to proceed. Now, choose one or more of the SQL Server instances where the alert will be active and click Next to proceed further. Now, we need to specify conditions which will trigger our alert. Looking back at our example, let's set conditions which will ensure we are alerted if someone changes the commission value. So, let's first add the condition that the operation in question should be Update. Adding another condition which will state define affected column, commission in our case, as well as another condition which will ensure we are alerted if the value is anything different than 5%. With this, we have set up our alert to be triggered in case someone updated the commission with any value different than 5%. Once the conditions are set, click on the Next button to proceed. In this step, we can choose to have our alert written inside the Windows event log or even sent via email to predetermined webmail addresses using the Simple Mail Transfer Protocols, or STMP for short. To use this option, add profiles which include recipients' email addresses, which can be configured in the application options. Click Next to proceed to the final step where we will see an alert summary and can choose the name for our alert. Clicking on the Finish button creates the alert which is immediately active and which will alert us on any event which triggers our configured conditions. Triggered alerts can be seen in the Alert History pane accessed by clicking on the History button in the main ribbon. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.